Here I have my solar generator. I have the box. I got the uh, toolbox idea from another YouTube user. I'll post his name in the comment section and the description section if I can find it. But here, 245 watt panels, foldable. They're different sizes, but the same same wattage, 45 watts a piece. So it's 90 watts. I was gonna go with uh, 120 watts, but since uh, since uh, 120 watts was going to be a little bit larger, and I was going for something smaller, since I already got a lot of stuff, I decided with the two small ones. Put a little 150 watt inverter here. Got my voltage meter here. You can't really see it so much because it's so bright outside, but it says 12.5 volts. It's not so good. Yeah, 12.5 volts. I have the solar panels hooked on the, well, these alligator clips go to the panels. And I have these, these posts go inside and connect to the battery. And it says black tape on it. That's the negative, of course. Let me put it back on here and keep charging up. Oops. I like to put the small one on first. Everybody has a different technique. Some people use Anderson plugs. Whatever they like. This was easy for me. And here you can see the post here. It's a little red tape on there. For positive. Simple. And then these open and close. Lock on to the side. Inside I have a uh, 600 watt inverter. With a uh, 1200 watt surge capacity or whatever you call it so it can surge up to 1200 watts but I don't have that much stuff I want to use while I'm camping anyway so and then I have it sitting on this cardboard which I'm going to switch and make it to a piece of uh, fire ass you know inside I just drilled a few holes in the back for the inverter tested it out it works alright 12 uh, 12 volt outlets, even a little cigarette outlet there. I don't smoke. And let me pull this out to the side. And inside, it's a hodgepodge of cables and all kinds of things. I've got a solar battery in here. I got this off the internet. I'm in Germany, and it's very hard to get these things kind of, you know, at a normal price. And so I have, uh, here I have the voltage gauge hooked up. Positive, um, positive goes over here, goes to the on off switch I have in the back. Negative, negative terminal here. Negative post goes to the battery there. Here's the little inverter there. I basically just removed the faceplate off of this inverter and then stuck it on the front. Screwed it in. It was easy. In here I have the on off switch. Right now I have it on. I set it up so it will only charge the battery up when it's on. See the inverter. Man, there's a lot of noise now. My inverter. It's actually lit up green, but you can't really, really see it. But that's all it. And I've tested it with all kinds of things, with the uh, a desk light, my electric cool box, my electric cooler. Um, a fan, all kinds of things, anything up to that 600 watts. And basically, I just use this little plastic DVD, little plastic DVD case right here, just for support until I'm uh, able to get the fiberglass for this. I'll try to do everything in one hand. Then I just drop all that back in.
still charging. Then this just goes back on top. Clamp it down, of course, which I'm not going to do it because I only have one hand free. Then in this top section, I just have the camping stuff. I've got my chargers. I got a lantern in there. This is a, a little wind up one. In case you run out of power, you can wind this up for probably like two hours is what you're going to need. But uh, I just charge it with the solar power through the little ports here. <clears throat> Extension cord. Toilet paper left over, MRE stuff. Yeah, everything's thought of. If you have any better ideas, let me know. I'm always uh, looking for some new stuff to do. This is uh, Gregory Parker, and this is my solar setup. And once again, I'll thank whoever it was that told me about this box, which was uh, hard to find in Germany. And there's my Jeep. There's only one Jeep, but that's uh, another video.